it. She's an equal opportunity celebrator. Did you see that? Yeah. All right. Well, in other news, you may remember this tragic hit and run accident that killed a three year old girl in Westminster back in February. Well, today, two suspects are now under arrest. In custody are a man and a woman. KTLA's Christina Pascucci is live at the CHP Westminster Bureau with more on the arrests. Christina. Good afternoon, guys. This story impacted a lot of our viewers. I remember covering the memorial just a couple months back. It was overflowing with hundreds of people, not a dry eye in the entire crowd, clearly showing how many people Miranda Palacios has impacted in her short life. Now, police are hoping that the announcement they made this morning will help her family and friends start to heal. I know what people looks like. Seriously. All they had to do was stop. Grab my little baby stroller up underneath the car, honking for people to get out of their way. <sighs> what kind of people do that? On February 8th, three-year-old Miranda Palacio's life was abruptly ended as she walked with her mom in a crosswalk near her home and school. Then this morning, police announced 20-year-old Carlos Parra is responsible for the hit and run that killed Palacios and severely injured her mother, 26-year-old Augie Hernandez. After the collision, the Nissan made no attempt to stop and fled the scene. It was reported stolen moments after the collision. Police say it was 24-year-old Rebecca Beltran, the suspect's girlfriend, who called police to falsely report the car stolen. Both were arrested yesterday in Anaheim following a three-month-long investigation. I think it's sickening to know that they were on the run for so long or that they kept it a secret for so long. That they continued to live their lives for so long. Um, I, we, I think we know that it was an accident but it turned into a crime the, sec you know, the second they fled. Police say Carlos Parra is looking at possible charges of vehicular manslaughter and felony hit and run, his girlfriend an accessory to a felony. Just another step of bringing closure, I think. Um, I know there's still unanswered questions, of course, and as far as how this could have been prevented, a lot of questions the family still wants answered. They hope to get more answers as the investigation continues. As for the mother of the victim who was severely injured, she's been bedridden for the last three months, finally just getting into a wheelchair. Her recovery continues. Reporting from Winsmister, Christina Pascucci, KTLA 5 News. Christina, thank you. A search is on. A man and a woman are behind bars tonight in connection with the hit and run accident that killed a three year old girl in February. KTLA's Christina Pascucci has more on the arrests from Westminster. Every day's nightmare. Just the family of Miranda Palacio says after three months of wondering and waiting, they are a step closer to justice for their little girl. Well, she literally lit up a room when she walked in, so full of life, dancing, singing. We would just be walking in the store and she would just talk to every single person that walked by her like, oh, you're pretty, oh, you're really cute. Palacios, just three years old, was killed by a hit and run driver the night of February 8th. Her mom, also hit, was so severely injured that three months later, she's still bedridden. After the collision, the Nissan made no attempt to stop and fled the scene. Grab my little baby stroller up underneath the car, honking for people to get out of their way. What kind of people do that? The California Highway Patrol said after a lengthy and thorough three month long investigation, they have arrested two people, a move they hope will help bring some sense of justice to the family of Miranda Palacios. Police say 20 year old Carlos Parra was behind the wheel. He could face vehicular manslaughter and felony hit and run charges. His girlfriend, Rebecca Beltran, not in the car at the time of the accident, but accused of calling police and falsely reporting the car stolen after she found out what happened. She could be charged as an accessory to a felony. She completely tore our family apart, she took something away from us that can never ever be replaced. Christina Pascucci, KTLA 5 News.